How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Vora Motors. I'm AJ Hart, here today with another guide to maintain your ride. For today's video, we're going to be doing another battery replacement, but this time around, it's gonna be on the Touring. This is a once every couple of years kind of job. And admittedly, if there is a major issue with the battery, that is handled by our warranty within the first year. So this'll be a late game repair for you. All you're really going to need to get this job taken care of is a series of Allen wrenches. Super easy to get taken care of, like most of the jobs on the Touring. Let's go ahead and get right to the job and get you back on the road. To start this job off right, let's open up the front of the scooter. Remove all four of the screws here and pull the cover off and away. Once it's open, grab the controller and pull it out, along with all the cables. Now if you look back into this cavity, that back wall there is actually the battery, so we need to take it all the way out. In order to do that, we need to remove everything that's in the way, including this brace here at the front. Let's go ahead and start with how to remove that. There are eight screws in total that hold this brace in place. Let's start by removing the four screws on the bottom. Make sure not to lose those washers that these screws have with them. And now we can get the four on the top. Now removing these is going to make the handlebars of the scooter come free, but removing that bracket makes it easier to deal with the cables in my opinion. Now that the brace is out, let's start unplugging the scooter. First, we're gonna unplug the battery itself, and then we're gonna unplug the motor cables. Now the motor cables aren't connected to the battery, but I want as much room as possible, and getting the slack on the controller is really nice. Next, let's unplug the charger. If you look into the back there, you'll see a pair of red and black cables that connect with a red connector. Yank on that until it's unplugged. Now in order to keep clearing the way, because there's some cables here, we need to drop the side fender with the charging port. So remove all three of these screws and drop it down. Once it's down, hunt for the light cables that are coming from inside the deck. These cables run in front of the battery and we need to remove them both. Once they're unplugged, shove them back into the deck. Really quick since we're here, let's push that charger connector out through this hole too. If you try to pull the battery out now, you'll see that we still aren't getting anywhere we need to pull those light cords out all the way. Drop the other side fender so that we can pull those light cables out. Don't lose those screws that are attached to it. Once it's down, you can pull those cables out and free. We're almost there, but there's still something in the way on the charger side. This black and red cable with the loose yellow wire that is connected to the controller. Let's disconnect that and pull it out from the fender. Now that should be everything out of the way. Grab hold of the battery now and pull it out. If you notice anything else is in the way, be sure to move it so as not to break anything and don't force anything. If you have to force it, you're gonna break it. Now that the old battery is out, we can slide a new battery into this empty space. Be mindful to hold the motor cables or they can be dragged down with the battery. Kinda like that. No big deal, just pull the battery out again and we can get those motor cables back into grasp. Now it's time to put this all back together. Let's start with that fender we removed completely. Slide the light connectors back into the deck and fasten the three screws of the fender. Now push those lights all the way across to the other deck.
Finally, find the color that they match with and plug the lights back in. Make sure that you line up the pins and arrows so as not to break the connectors. Now it's time to get this fender back in. Make sure that you plug that charger cord and that black connector back in the hole and start nursing all of these cables into place. Securing this can take some time, but make sure all the cable is hidden in the fender and not exposed. Once it's secure, we can replace all three of these screws. Now you should be able to find that black connector that we undid and plug that back into the connector. We're getting really close here. Let's connect the charger to the battery again with that red connector in the back there. Next, we can connect the battery to the controller. At this point, I would recommend wearing gloves for this project. Since we're here, let's go ahead and connect the motor as well. Yellow to yellow, blue to blue, and green to green. Now that we're all plugged in, let's put the brace back in over the top of these cables. Make sure that the holes for the front cover are facing you when it's seated. Now we can put all eight of those screws back in. Let's start with the four on the bottom. Don't forget those washers on those screws. There should be two per screw. And then we can move back up to the top. Make sure that this main connection wire is running on the charger side of the scooter. This is because the stem opens up here and we want it to sit right and comfortably. Line up these four screws on top and start fastening these screws down. Now that these are all fastened down, we can put the controller back into the deck and then fasten down all four of these screws to close the deck. And there you have it, the battery has been swapped. Now you can plug it in, and once it's all juiced up, you'll be back on the road. Congratulations, you just replaced your turning battery, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Again, this isn't a job that you're going to need to do frequently, but it is a job that you might wanna do every couple of years. Those batteries can slowly over time start to wear out and can be a little bit of a hassle to deal with. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and leave the video here today. If you have any questions or concerns that came up with your scooter while you were doing this job, leave those questions in the comments down below. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see us do, drop those in the comments down below too. If you wanna see other tutorials that we do, I try to release two videos on this channel a week, so subscribe and you'll see what we do next. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video helps and I hope you enjoy your ride.